Good day, good people. Welcome, everybody. It's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here on Hickory Valley Blank Map by Poor Boy Modding. So, welcome in. Love that Massey. Oh, I love this Massey, too. Ryan, Grady, Tobo, Fish, and Gaiman Joy. Welcome in, everybody. So, this is probably totally not what you're expecting to see. <laughs> but, as we are, everybody, on Blank Map, as you can see here, there is nothing here at all. That is because I would like to do a little bit something different here on this channel. And maybe uh, try and rebuild uh, Grandpa's Farm in some live streams and then potentially keep it keep it here in single player or uh, uh, probably keep it in single player this time i already got a multiplayer set up because this is going to involve numerous mods also everybody this is on the uh ps4 version of fs22 Although I am on my P PS5, the only reason I did that is because this would give me an opportunity to have some more open game saves as well as if for some reason I run into a problem with um, any mods or anything and I lose this or it causes issues I won't lose my other current game saves <laughs> so uh, yeah so John Brock welcome in how are you doing so we're gonna get started so first off what I want to do everybody is we are on a uh, Hickory Valley blank map by poor boy modding. I have bought all the land so I can start building. And I'm trying to decide here, directional wise, how I want to do this. And I think what I'm going to do is do it. Do it. Um. Do it this way so I don't get totally confused. So, first off, as you would come into town back home in Iowa, you would go past a hospital and a dealership, a car dealership. So, this is going to be kind of the car dealership area as we come into town. And so I'm going to place down kind of my uh, brief little um, outlook of roadways here really quick just to give me an idea of where I want to have things at. So we're going to go here into painting and uh, put down some roads really quick. Let's see what all colors do we got here. We'll go with concrete. Um, shop area is restricted, I know that. Okay, and we will get it going here. Whoops. That's going to drive me nuts. I can't keep it still. Unrelated to farm sim, does anyone know what an Iowa fish finder is? Yeah, that's rusty money looking for nuclear salmon. <laughs> Why can't I hold that steady? Binoculars. <laughs> We're going to go basically straight across the map here. I'm going to kind of split this up into four sectors for right now. 
just to give me a general layout of how I want this to be. I have put in some government signs to get this going. So I hope y'all don't mind a little building here with myself instead of uh, doing a challenge or something like that. Nice mowing job. No mess. Yeah, right? <laughs> we got a nice wide open road, too, for right now until we get across the map here. Should maybe see how center we are. How center... Oh, man, are you telling me those roads aren't going to show up? That is, uh, <laughs> that's going to get, uh, be a little something to be, uh, used to, or get used to, I should say. Okay, I hope you got planning for this. Oh, I got planning. I got plans. Let's get back down here now. Let's finish going across. I'm sure you'll find a way to crash. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Oh, no. <laughs> David and Yost, welcome in. How are we doing today? Thanks for stopping by the live stream here on Hickory Valley Blank Map by our friend Poor Boy Modding. Whoa, wow, there's some toys on this map. Oh yeah, there's toys on here. They're easy to find, you just gotta paint the grass out. And you'll find them. About to watch some TV show and you start streaming. <laughs> Sorry, Yos. So welcome John, Brock, Yost, David, and everybody. Thanks for checking out this, uh, what I was going to call Relocate, Rebuild, but I was running out of characters in my title. My next question would be is, should I include this as episode four and put it under my current playlist for Grandpa's Farm 22, or do I start a whole new playlist? I can't decide what I should do. Because Grandpa's Farm, the other Grandpa's Farm we had for FS22, uh, yeah, we lost it due to the app getting... Uh, deleted and uninstalled because it went corrupt. Ooh, now what is this? We got a little uh, quarry over here. Sweet. Okay, we're right in line with that. So let's... Uh, We'll just um, somehow make a drive into here then. Make this be make this be the end of the road for right now. John Carter, welcome in. How are you doing today? Thanks for stopping by the live stream here. On uh, poor boys map called Hickory Valley which actually when you install Hickory Valley you get two maps in one mod you get the regular standard Hickory Valley and then you get Hickory Valley blank map so we're here on the blank map version okay now we need to get in our tractor and drive down there Ooh, look at these toys we just as well pick them up. Sweet. 
Sweet. Okay, there we go. Good to see you playing blank map. Well, thanks, Charles. Appreciate that. I, I want to go down here and see if I can... We need to find about the middle of the map. So I can figure out where I want to place things at. See where we're at here. Ooh, that little circle looks like that's about the middle of the map. Maybe I don't need to go... wonder if that shows up in the bigger PDA. Well, let's just drive down there. There's like a darker little circle right in the center of the PDA. I'm going to have to. That's going to be the center of town, I think, is what I'll do there. I really wish that the painting would show up in the other PDA. I don't know if it... I think it does in other maps. We'll get we we'll get a way around it though. I'll figure out what Are we there yet? We're right there. We're right there on the center. We are right there. Okay, now I want to face this direction, I think. So then I know how I want to, let's see. How do I want to do this? So Grandpa JR's farm would be over there with Uncle Mark's over there. And then we could go, if I did Uncle Marty's, it could be over there somewhere. And Grandpa Carl's could be over there. Okay, so let's uh, go back in here. This should be about the center. And let's do a road right here for now. This will give me a plan of where to go here. Charles, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by the live stream, my friend. Um, how big are we with our square? Okay, that'll work. Let's go right here. We'll try and stay as straight as we can. We can fix these edges later or we'll leave them we'll leave them the way they are, one of the two. So hopefully I can somewhat stay straight. I'm doing great. Awesome. We we'll probably won't do like real life uh, roads, and what I mean by that is, is how they, how they're actually shaped. I'm just gonna do straight lines for now until I get things figured out. Okay, and the edge of the map should be over there in all those trees that'll work oh do we actually we actually got trees is that area that area of trees is being able to harvest okay sweet I didn't realize that we would have any trees here that will work out because we could put Grandpa's, potentially Grandpa Carl's farm up in the woods like it is in real life, kind of. Okay. Potentially we'll do that. We'll see. 
Now we'll go back across the other direction here. And split this then. This will give me an idea where I need to put my uh, bakery, which will resemble sweet things. A little cafe in the old town where I'm originally from. And then uh, we'll be able to put down like a supermarket or something to resemble where the grocery store is. And put down a gas station where like Casey's General Store is located. That rock quarry holds almost 85 million of stone. <laughs> cool. Farm Sim Snowy is in the house. Welcome along, my friend. Okay, so now we've got that. Ooh, isn't that pretty straight? Ooh, I see a little bend up there in my line. <laughs> That's as straight as we're going to get. Okay, so now... Now we're there. Okay, so now I need to kind of figure out where I want to. Okay, so if we're coming in from that. Let's see, from that. Where is my store at? Okay, my store is over there. So Grandpa JR's farm has got to be down this way then. It's going to be backwards from what I thought. So we'll head on t out of town. Figure out where we're going to put... About where we'll put... Grandpa JR's. And let's see. Okay. So that is. That is there. So. I would want. North to be. I think facing that way. And then south would be that way where that hot air balloon is. So that would mean Uncle Mark would be over here. It might be best to place Uncle Mark's place first. Did I break the bot? No, I don't think so. Bot's just slow. <laughs> The bot is just slow. Okay, so then this will work out because then we can we can then um, figure out how far oh, let's make a road here then we can do yeah that's what we'll do we'll do a road about here I think and we can still go on both sides of it okay and um, we'll go right here this direction This would go straight this way, and then this way would be going towards, kind of towards, uh, you would travel this direction to go, like, towards, um, get yourself towards Fort Dodge, Iowa, then. Take this one all the way up here to the end, where we can't go no. Okay, we can't go no further. Fort Dodge, Iowa, would be kind of in that general direction over there in the corner somewhere, <laughs> outside of the map.
Okay, so then we can continue this down this other direction too. We'll have to get a house down, at least something down, so we know where we're going to be building Uncle Mark's farm. And then we can go back towards town and figure out where I want to put the country road that goes off of the highway towards Grandpa JR's farm where they made ethanol. Okay, uh, that's the end of that highway there. Okay, so now let's get back to the tractor here. Again over there, that's south. Uh, this is north. Gonna be uh, kind of mixed up in the PDA, I bet. Let's just see where we're at in this PDA. Yeah, see, <laughs> my north is uh, there southeast, but yeah, this is just the way I want to do this here. All right, so then we want to go. We don't have to go too far away from that intersection of that highway down there is where Uncle Mark's and Aunt Valerie's place is on the left here. So I think we'll go... We'll go about right here, I think. Call that good for now. Okay, and then we'll draw in a little road. off of here okay painting um, we need some kind of gravel or dirt dirt here we go that'll work off of here okay and then they have a little bit of a angle to their driveway here okay and then I'm gonna put the house oh do we need to be really don't need to be that further away so let's get a house I'm just gonna put a decorative house down for now I should go to buildings then um, I want just a decorative one I don't want a sleep trigger so uh, decorations, there we go. Let's go to other. Is there just a decorative one I can put down for right now just to figure out where I want things to be? The nice thing about using this map is, is everything, the land is all flat, so... $500, too, for a nice house like this. Okay, we're just going to put this in here. Like this for right now. Okay, that will be the start of Uncle Mark's. That's not going to be the house. Okay, then if we go back down the road. This direction. Not too far from Uncle Mark's, then there's a country road going off of the highway here back to the west towards town. So let's just go about right here because this is going to be kind of small to medium sized fields, basically, I think. Uh, we'll put a country road in here. 
Okay, and so let's do it about right here, I think. Uh, landscape painting, and uh, we want uh, dirt. We want dirt for the gravel road. We'll put it right here. And then this road actually goes all the way towards town, basically. It goes right past Grandpa JR's farm. So this would go all the way over here. Quite a ways, anyway. Okay, I can see the center. Okay, so then I don't want that to go all the way over towards that other main highway. Quite yet. I'm going to stop about right here, I think. And then this goes this direction towards the highway. Okay, and then this goes right here, up towards another highway, actually. We could put in another highway. Oh, where do I want to put that? We could put it right here, I guess. Well, that goes back across there. Okay, so then we want this uh, concrete. This would go this way. This isn't going to be exact to real life, but this is uh, my plan for it. Okay, and then this goes over here. It's actually got a little of a horseshoe curve right where that intersection of that dirt road is. That goes there. Okay. And then we will let this go um, up to that cell point somehow, eventually. I'm going to let that end right there for now. Okay, and then, man, my, line are, my lines are just really straight. <laughs> I hate the jagged edges here. Okay, so then we got to put Grandpa JR's farm over here. Grandpa JR's is pretty close to Uncle Mark's. It's just in the country. Okay, so then Grandpa JR's, I'm going to put the inroad in right there, I think. So let's switch this back to dirt. Right there, and then it's got a big uh, opening, kind of. I'm going to angle this this way a little bit. I'll fix all this here uh, later once we get further. This will just give me an idea how I want this to be. This will be a big area here. Okay, and then the house... A house would go somewhere back over here, I believe. So let's just put down a decoration for now of a house. I'll probably just pick that same one we did for Uncle Mark's. Uh, where are we at here? Come on. Got a lot of stuff turned on here. Okay, and we'll place this uh, right here for right now. 
That'll work. Okay, that will give us that general idea there. Okay, then we get back in our tractor. Okay, now we can go this direction. Pass Grandpa JR's back over to the highway. Let's see if there's something I want to... We can start working back towards town on this side of the area. Uh, maybe putting down a few cell points to give me a feel of where things will be. Welcome in 14 awesome people here. I know we're not doing a lot of farming or anything right now. I just kind of wanted to I wanted to bring back Grandpa's farm. There's been a few people requesting it. I've actually gotten some direct messages from a couple of people, talked to some people in some other chats and so we're going to bring it back. Okay, so once you get back on the highway, go back towards town, there actually is like a, oh, I would call it like a feral gas place, you know, where you could get like uh, propane and stuff bought, would be about right here, and then kind of not too far from it is, uh, is an old folks home, and then there's a golf course. There's a golf course about right in this general area. And then you get closer into town and there's houses and stuff like that. That's just a brief. Okay, so I don't know what I'll put quite in those areas yet. Now on the left side here, once we get closer to the main square area of town... I am gonna put a uh I'm gonna pull off over here and give me a general idea here. Now we'll have a uh kind of a gas station grocery store area right here. Mm, yeah, that'd be right, right? Let's see, you got to turn back around this way. Yeah, that'd be right. Hey, hey, sorry if I go quiet. It's because I'm getting donuts. <laughs> I need a lot more of these. It says tow boat as well. <laughs> All right, you fine folks. What do we have um, for... I don't know if I have that. I should maybe get that uh, modded gas station area. What do I have here? Let's see. That might be an idea. Because I would have room for mods. So, uh, productions and sell points. What do we got here for sell points then? I could just use a standard supermarket. What else do I got? Um, the Polish corn corn dryer. Ooh, yeah. I could put the Polish corn dryer uh, add-on mod down here, which is a supermarket, basically. Because I'm going to use that Polish corn dryer, I think. If that mod works good, does anybody know how that Polish corn dryer mod works? Does it work pretty good? Then we necessarily wouldn't have to use the base game supermarket. 
Let's see. I do got a wholesale. I could put a wholesale there. That would maybe work too. But I got another. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. You know, I think I'm going to go for that. I'm going to put that there. What about the little shop and decoration? The little shop. Oh, yeah, that would work too for right now. Uh, snowy. That would work too. Be careful how you place the BGA. There is a train trigger for the BGA. Be careful how you place the BGA. There is a train trigger for the BGA. One of my favorite maps got about 80 hours on it. Cool, Hoonigan Farmer. My phone can only let me watch streams and I can't upgrade because of my donut addiction. <laughs> Well, it's because your fingers are all sticky, Jacob. Lick them clean. That frosting doesn't last forever. Okay, now let's... Uh... So, were you kind of thinking about that uh, one by Alien Jim in No Man's Land, Snowy? Oh, what it's it's like called sweet shop or something on the front, I think. Obviously, it's clear over here. Yeah, like this one. Were you kind of thinking this one here, Snowy? What else do we got? Local inn, apartments, garden center. That's the one. Okay, yeah. Let's choose that one for now. We can always, uh, like I said, I'm going to replace them. This will just give me a feel of how I want things. So I'm going to put that right there. Okay. We need a pull of favorite donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, I tell you what, I'll do that as a community a community uh post. How about that? I ain't gonna do it right here in this live stream. We'll do that on my community tab. That'd be kind of interesting to see. Oh, and then I wanna put down a Well, you never know when we're going to run out anyway. Let's just get a... Ooh, there is a residential... This is part of Hickory Valley. This little modded uh, fuel barrel here. Um... What is it? Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> Rabbit Rob, welcome, my friend. I'm just going to put this one for right now. And, yeah, we're just going to put this one. Actually, I wouldn't need to put anything there for right now. This would be good enough. Now... A little bit on past that is a parts store right here. Uh, I think it was a Napa parts store. So it could be potentially an idea to where I could put in a, like a, um, Let's see, a tools. Potentially like a workshop right here or something. Just another workshop that would be closer to the area. So I'm going to place that right there. Okay, and then let's see. This way then, let's get back on the tractor. Uh, 
This way then, out of town. Behind here, I don't remember this uh, too much. This area out here, there is one thing I know that is out here on the edge of town, but I, in all the years I grew up there, which wasn't very many, and the years I went back to visit, all the years I've been back to visit, we just never really went down this road out of town here. But there was one thing that was out of town, and it was located on um, that side of the road. It was a it was a big uh, elevator. So I could do another uh, kind of cell point area here of some sort like a grain mill or something because I'm not sure where else the grain mill is let's see what ones I have rabid Rob welcome 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 there's the steel factory from uh, Hickory Valley we got uh stone crusher stone crusher we got these other hickory valley places too i can put down um there is oh we could do the grain mill from hickory valley right here i want to see what else i got I think I will. I think I will do that. I'm going to make that uh, part of it. I'm going to do a grain mill here um, from Poor Boy Modding. Part of the map here. So we'll place this down. It is quite a distance off here. Place that down right there. Okay, and then also over here, I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was part of that property. It was many, many years ago, and I'm going to include that in here um, as a part of everything I talk about when we play this is, uh, okay, I need uh, not decorations. I need sheds. Is... Uh, my grandpa Carl's friend uh, had a trucking business, and he had a shed over there, over here, that he rented or something and parked his truck in and stuff. You know, let's go for one of these that are part of the map. Uh, these drive through that would maybe work really well if we did that. That would save on slots too. I'm just going to put it over here for right now. About right there. That'll work. Okay. And then it's not very straight. We'll fix all that as we go here as we progress. Okay. Now let's go back towards town again and we can uh figure out our other areas and where else i want to add roads in that i travel down a lot going back home to iowa all the time and places we'd go to we do need to this would be um this is gonna be the center Um, well, that's going to be what I call the center. That's not really where the square of this town is. Town square. Let's see how far over we should go. Oh, go a little further away here. This direction. And we will go... I think for right now we'll go about right here so I'm gonna go for another place another road this will help me uh, whoops not on that side I need to be on this side going that direction 
Now this would be a road down to my godparents' house. And it is right next to what you would call Town Square, which also goes by a world-known, and I mean world-known, factory. Or, uh, yeah, I would say factory. That burnt down in a small community in Iowa that is well known for making organs that go in churches. King Catch Me DK. I take a cold beer and some popcorn while watching. Sadly, you ain't allowed to drink and drive at the same time, I guess, but screw. <laughs> well, welcome in. <laughs> It's Saturday. You should be able to do what you wish. So we're going to go down here with this road. This direction. Uh, we'll just go all the way on down here. This road also kind of goes out towards the northern edge of town, and it it connects up with the gravel road, kind of. Well, I wouldn't say really a gravel road, more of an asphalt road. And then there's a rodeo grounds um, that you would turn and go left to. So maybe this would be a good spot. That is a pretty good distance away there. Yeah, so let's make an asphalt road here then. Uh, really divide this up. Try and make a, a good resemblance of this as much as I want to anyway. So we'll have the asphalt road then go kind of this. Ooh, that almost lines up right there with that one. Which I can't remember in real life if it does. But let's just go on over here with this then. As straight as I can go, anyway. And we'll connect it right there. Okay. And then we will go right here. And we'll go this direction. This also then would lead towards uh, Grandpa Carl's farm. It connects up with another road that goes... Uh, towards Grandpa Carl's farm and also goes back towards town on past the bowling alley. So I think we'll stop it right there and then we'll have this turn into gravel and Grandpa Carl's farm will be over this general direction, not by the forest then, but that's okay. Ray, welcome in, my friend. Okay, so then um, I want this gravel road right here. I need to go that direction with it, and I need to go back this direction. Once I go this direction, though, we also will go past uh, great my great uncle, or I should say my <laughs> my great uncle. Yeah, my great uncle. Um, my great uncle's mechanic shop. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I'm drawing a name blank. That is horrible also. Okay, and now I'm going to actually make this one a little windy. So then this kind of curves here back like that. This curves back this way. Going up here towards the end of the map there. And then Grandpa Carl's farm is basically about right here. And the house uh, sits this direction. Oh, we need decorations. Um, let's see. We'll go all the way over here and get that same house. Combine Parts Carl. Welcome in, Aaron. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by the live stream here. Okay, so then, 
And Grandpa, Grandpa Carl's house would face this direction. Might actually have to kind of uh, bring things back a little bit, though. But we'll see. We still might make that work. Okay, so then let's go. Hey, Ray, thanks, my friend, for all those donuts and cookies. Oh, man, that sounds good. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. I I had a late breakfast down at the sports bar, so I kind of skipped lunch and decided we'd, uh, we'd live stream here. So... go all right so now I want to go this direction then I believe right and JR's should be then over there well it doesn't put in the um, Uh, doesn't show the, uh, doesn't show the decorative houses, does it? That's right, in there. So I just want to make sure I'm going in my right directions here. Yeah, that would be then Grandpa JR's right there, Uncle Mark's over there. Okay, we are in the right direction here with everything. So now, how far away from there... We're going to put down my godparents' house, actually. Let's go about... Let's go about right here. I got a little plan with their place, too. Okay, so let's... Uh, uh, we go painting first, and, uh, we'll do concrete off of this, too, for their driveway. That would be their driveway there. And then let's go back here to decorations and get a house there, too. We'll pick that same house, uh, for now. This would be my godparents, Denny and Sharon. Okay, so we'll turn this around right here. These are the people I got my very first car from back in high school, which was my dad only had to pay $1,000 for my brother and I to have a 1976 two-door Midnight Blue Cutlass Supreme. Oldsmobile. He uh, he he had it. It was his car. Restored it. It wasn't in. I wouldn't say it was in your most immaculate, you know, restoration. But it meant a lot to my brother and I. And then, uh, yeah, as we became older, <laughs> we both. Uh, yeah, the car the car got traded off, but it's one of those things where you wish in life you still had. <laughs> I wish I told Dad I wanted to keep it. Instead, I told Dad I wanted to get a pickup. All right, so then we will make Town Square. So then let's make Town Square. Let's paint off Town Square. Town Square then would be about right here somewhere. So let's paint that out. Um, and it's a park. It's a, a really nice park. It's got a water fountain in the middle of it. And so let's go about right here. And we'll square this off back to the highway. I think that's big enough for now. We'll go right here. And then we can put in our bakery, which is uh, 
a place called Sweet Things in real life. Okay. I just picked a shucked. I just picked and shucked some sweet corn. Oh, I got some in my fridge, Farmer Trio. I need to do the same thing. Okay, so then uh, I can go on to discuss everything else here. So then in real life, right at the intersection about right here, there was a building that sat... Uh, approximately, uh, I'm just going to use one of these. I'm not going to place it, but just for illustration for y'all. There was a building, a big building that sat about right here. And it burnt down about two years ago, but they built organs. And those organs were shipped all over the entire globe and uh, put in churches and other businesses or I shouldn't say businesses but other places that uh, used organs or pianos okay and then so then they have a brand new community center uh, kind of a brand new community center that is about right here, faces about right here. And then over this direction right here is a movie theater and uh, some businesses. And City Hall is about right here. So I have an idea for that too. And then... Um, Right in the middle of here is a big, uh, like, water fountain in the middle there. I brought you something. Well, thanks, Ray, again. Okay, now... Now we can... Um, let's get back in the tractor here. Go around Town Square. And we can put in... Um, We can put in the bakery then. About approximately where I want the bakery. Okay, so then um, the bakery. Let's see. Uh, productions. Um, we'll go with the bakery. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that one there. Uh, man, cheeseburgers now. Holy cow. It really going to make me hungry. Feed production. Sawmill. There's a Hickory Valley bakery even. We'll just do that. We'll do that. We'll do the Hickory Valley Bakery right here. And this is going to be called uh, Sweet Things. It's right there. Okay, and then kind of about right here then, there's like a hardware hank. And, and then I can't remember what is right here approximately and then if you go down the street here there's another street which we could do that we could just uh, kind of put in our streets now and that way we kind of have things laid out to where we can uh, I can put in fields later on um, I'll take a pepperoni pizza with chili <laughs> So we're going to put a street right here. And uh, this will go uh, on over this direction then. We'll just have it go on over here. Okay, and then... 
And then right here would be um, like a, another gas station actually sits right here. Rusty, make sure you don't get into a, a signal one. What? I'm lost, right? I'm lost. Okay, so then right here. Uh, let's see. Actually, no, not right there. We could go. Let's get back to the tractor. AKA getting pulled over. <laughs> okay. Then we go back this direction. Past that. And we can go. We'll go about right here. We can. Uh, we can put another road then. Right there. Landscape painting. Uh, now, like I said, this isn't exact, but this is the way I want to resemble it. This goes this way then, and this is actually uh, one of the other highways that comes into town. You can go north out of town um, up to another highway that would then, uh, I believe, you could go east towards Fort Dodge. Take this here. We'll take this all the way up here. We'll go right on through this uh, road. So that'll be an intersection then. And I'm sure that road is not straight at all because it sure didn't. Oh, that one's not too bad. <laughs> that one's not too bad. Okay, but the reason I put that in there, then, is I can show you where my family's kind of all went to church. Whereabouts, anyway. Oh, we can just get back out of there, get in the tractor. So then you turn here. You turn here, and you don't go very far. Let's just go about right here. We actually could uh, almost connect that to town square, but I'm not going to. I'm going to split that between my godparents and town square. So let's go right here, painting, and um, we'll do concrete here. So then this goes this direction. And then this would go off this direction. And then, um, right over here is a church. I'll just put down it. A building here I don't know is there even uh, is there a a building anywhere um, in the mod hub for all platforms that would resemble kind of a church actually I think there might be one in here in the stuff I have Where I'm from, it's nothing but crazy. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I 
You know what? I think I'm going to pick a building right there that I just saw to resemble the church. Because actually the church that I that all my families go to back home in Iowa kind of is shaped that way, but it's, you know, it's been added on to and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going to go back and select that building and put that down right there. Just kind of, uh, uh, PS5 Hoonigan Farmer, but I'm actually on the PS4 version of FS22. To, and the reason I did that is um, uh, to keep more open saves on my PS5 version. And that way, if I have a mod conflict at all with this uh, down the road, because this is going to involve a lot of mods, I won't have to worry so much about... Um, losing it what do i mean by that as of 2020 the population was almost 4.7 million wow ray okay rank welcome i'm gonna place this right here so that's the church area so do the new gen consoles have more slot spaces than the old gen yes so, uh, you can see I'm on PlayStation 4. Well, <laughs> I'm on my PlayStation 5, but I'm playing the PlayStation 4 version of the game. So, I only got 2,600. Yeah, I believe isn't like the PlayStation 5 version got more than that. I don't even remember what the number is. I don't ever pay attention to the slot count no more. I don't worry about it at all. Even on the PS4 version, I never worried about it. Alright, so that's kind of where church is. Then there's a whole bunch of houses kind of in this area right here. Let's go on back out this way, though. And we'll go on around uh, Town Square. And then I will um, go uh, on back out towards the other part of town and uh, kind of lay out where uh, my aunt and uncle live. Uh, they live by the lumber yard, kind of, and not too far from an old bowling alley. That's about three counties out of either 83 or 93 counties in my state. Okay, right. Been going back and forth from your stream and Faber Farm and Faber is playing on Pacific Northwest. Okay. I don't know if I've ever looked at that map. Okay, now this direction going out of town, uh, going back out of, out of downtown, I should say, there's a bunch of residences basically on both sides of this main highway that goes through town. But then if you were to go back this direction here by uh, the end of the block where Sweet Things is, there's an old building, the corner of the building uh, about approximately here um, has been turned into kind of like a place that has like, I think it's, it's either only two or four, four rooms, kind of like a mini, a mini uh, bed and breakfast, kind of, a little bit. And if you go on down the street, then then there's a bar, an old bar on this side of the street, and an old uh, kind of uh, electrician uh, business, and then you get into a whole big. This would all this back in here would be residential. And all that, kind of. But let's go on back this way here. Out of town. Again, both sides of the road here would be residential, mainly. Let's get on down here to the road where we go towards Grandpa Carl's farm. And I can tell you a little bit more about this area down here then.
All right, we need to paint in the, uh, we can get out of it now. Now, Grandpa Carl's uh, road should be up here somewhere. We need to bring back towards town. Right there. Okay, so then this needs to go back towards town here. Whoops. Gosh darn it. Let's go this way again. Sorry about that. I hit the wrong button. And I'll tell you what this all goes on by then as you so you're out in the country right here then. All right, let's paint this back in. Now this this will turn into asphalt then. So um we'll go to asphalt. Um where is asphalt? Okay, this is actually asphalt here. Um, now where do I want to put, yeah, I could back that, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue the gravel right here a little bit, then it will change to asphalt, whoops, I want to change that to dirt, dirt here for a little bit, and then we'll put Uncle Jack's, that's it, Uncle Jack's. Yeah, Uncle Jack's. Yeah, do I want... Well, Uncle Jack's would be... Uh... Okay, yeah. Grandpa Carl's place, I think, will stay where it's at. Yeah. Uncle Jack's would be right here, then. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, because his driveway comes right off that bend. Yeah, okay. So we need um, this to go this way, actually. Their driveway comes right off that curve. And then angles back this way towards the house. And then the house kind of sits. Um, let's see see that's gonna have to change a little bit the house then sits uh, sits a different direction here mm, and then my uncle Jack which was my uh, my great uncle Jack was Grandpa Jr.'s brother, one of Grandpa Jr.'s brothers. He had a mechanic shop. Okay, we're just going to put this down right there for right now. That's going to change, but that'll give me the idea anyway of where to kind of start building. Okay, then this needs to go back towards town. Uh, past the park and stuff. So then... We'll go landscaping here, painting, and this will change to asphalt here. Change that to asphalt. And this goes back towards town. And on the right-hand side of the road would be a big park. And uh, you can go on out of town then towards a... Uh, Another highway that goes past the cemetery and stuff like that. Well, I got to go. Have some things to take care of. All right, Ray. We'll see ya. Uh, and this also goes past, like, the community uh, swimming pool and stuff. So I'm going to wrap this around a little bit. So then this actually comes this way a little bit here. And then goes back this way. Towards town here. Towards the highway. Okay. And then this here. Kind of goes this direction. I 
thanks, Ray. Appreciate that. I'm just going to take this right on to the edge of the map. Okay, and then I'm going to... How do I want to do... How far over? Not going to be too far from our main store. That's okay. Because in real life, it's not either. So I'm just going to go right here and go. We're going to go straight on down. Straight on down right there. Okay, and then there is a split right here. About right here, probably, I think. Okay, and then um, this actually wraps around. So I think I'm going to try and see if I can't paint a road right here. I'm going to paint this this direction. There. Okay. So then, in real life, as you're coming into town past the car dealership, which the car dealership actually is on this side of the highway here. As you're coming into town, this direction on your left-hand side, there is a Dollar General. And then my aunt and uncle's house is, oh, we'll just put it about right here, the driveway, and it's uh, white rock, basically, mm, but we'll just use dirt. My aunt and uncle's place. And uh, it's a big lot, kind of, because they're right next to the lumber yard. So the lumber, the lumber yard actually is a building that sits right here. Uh, my aunt and uncle live right over this direction here, so we'll go into decorations. I have a beautiful, beautiful backyard. Uh, my aunt loves flowers and bushes and stuff like that. Huge decorative backyard. There's hardly any grass in their backyard. It wraps completely around their house with uh, different flower gardens and stone stone uh, sidewalks um, sidewalk designs so their house would be about right here okay and then right across the road from them is a what used to be an old vet clinic actually and that was my grandpa carl's good friend that owned a trucking business and then so if we go uh just from there about where i'm at we're gonna put a street in right here Another street um, painting. We'll just go. Uh, we'll go asphalt here. Um, this goes uh, down towards the football field and uh, school. Oh, how far do I want to go? It's kind of a long way down in there. Let's just go down here a little ways. That'll work. And let's go back this direction then. Well, this goes all the way this way then.
we'll take it all the way this way and we'll connect up with that road there. That'll work. So then right here is the uh, football field and stuff. Um, let's do, uh, let's just do dirt. We don't have white rock, so... A big, huge parking lot right here by the football field. And then the school actually kind of sits um, kind of right here. And I'm not sure. I can't remember, actually, because I don't ever go down that road. I think there's a street back there. Then the rest of the school is kind of in here. But um, what I do want to put in here <laughs> is my version of Casey's gas station. Okay, so then we'll go to productions and sell points. And my uncle, aunt and uncle don't live very far from Casey's general store. So we're going to use... Um, Oh, I wanted a production factory, actually. I want Yosu's right here. This will be Casey's general store area. Sits back off here, out of the way. Okay, and then from there... About the only other thing I really want to show you to conclude this live stream then is there's another road. Let's get on this side here. On over this direction then. There's another road. Oh, how do I want to show that? Um, trying to figure out here. Let's go with asphalt. I think it's directly across there, if I remember correctly. So we're going to put a road right here again. This goes up here, like so. And then connects basically to this. Okay, and then we have a uh, ice cream shop basically right here. There's an ice cream cafe shop right there. But, um, right, um, would that be, okay, we got, so then the bowling alley, the bowling alley is kind of, I'm going to put the bowling alley right here. Let's see, where would I put the bowling alley? Yeah, I'm going to put it about right there. Is where I'd want it to be, I think. And then there's another um, grocery store, actually. Yeah, maybe we'll do a road here then. I'm going to do uh, another asphalt road. I'm just going to um, fictionally put in another road about right here. And it goes back this direction then. We'll just take it on over here to Town Square. How about that? Eric the Crazy Viking, welcome in, my friend. And then we have a split right here. Let's go. 
Let's go about right here. Oops. I uh, will fix all that later. Uh, gonna fix some of it now. There we go. Okay, so then, yeah, so then I'm gonna put a grocery store. The other grocery store is actually right here. Uh, productions, I'm going to go with sell points, and I'm going to put this one, that one by Poor Boy there for right now. Or not by Poor Boy, but I'm going to put the Polish, uh, this one right here. So there's another grocery store right here, approximately, in real life. And then there's another church. The church is right here, kind of by the other grocery store. And then um, down the street here, then, uh, I'm going to put it basically here. Um, I need to pick a building to resemble it. I'm not sure what I want to use. Um, decorations. What could I do there? Ah, oh, man, I don't know what to put there. We get on over here to Alien Jim's buildings for now. I'll just put down his one decorative office building, I think. I'll just put this here, this small office building right here. This would kind of resemble the Bolinelli, where the Bolinelli is in real life. The front door actually would face that way. And the building stretches all the way down here then. But actually, I should put that uh, other ice cream shop should actually go here then. That's where it would be. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put this here to uh, remind me. That's where that would go. All right, well... I think we've had a pretty good live stream here from me uh, <laughs> just going on about. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of the start or the development start of kind of where things will kind of be. Um, we definitely will be able to put in a whole lot more roads back in there. Um the cemetery again would be off this direction uh, and there'd be another well we probably wouldn't even really be able to see it this road kind of would go off the map right here and then on this side of the highway there's a cemetery I'd be on out of town I guess Uh, and this whole big area right here, I should, I could box that off here a little bit. It's a big area. It's a huge park. Um, I'm gonna go about right here. I think. I think it's an asphalt around it. If I remember correctly. I just got to take it straight over to the side of the map. And I could go down this way. Because it, uh, it does connect up with that highway. Actually, a little bit. It connects up with this highway. You could turn right off of the park area and go back on out of town. 
But all of this here, this big square area right here, this is all park. A huge park with campgrounds. And, and then right in this corner here would be the swimming pool. Right here. A city swimming pool. But, yeah, I need to look out for some more mods and stuff like that. But that's kind of the general idea. I could put uh, Uncle Marty's farm on here somewhere, but it wouldn't be... In this rebuild, it wouldn't resemble... I wouldn't be able to resemble it very well because Uncle Marty's place would be way on out of town here. As the bird would fly, Uncle Marty would be clear out over that direction on the other side of those mountains. <laughs> over by Storm Lake, Iowa. And then this area, uh, one last thing here. I won't uh, I won't build it. I might uh, resemble it to take up some space. But if we go on past uh, Casey's General Store here on the left, um, not too far from there, there is a huge hospital uh, that is pretty, I would say, from what I know, pretty well known with some good doctors and medical options. But this whole area right here would be the basically the hospital then. And then on past... On past the dealership, which we wouldn't be able to see, would be the old folks' home. Another old folks' home off uh, the left-hand side of uh, the highway here. And then you cross a bridge on out of town uh, back on the highway, and you can go on out of the highway kind of towards Carroll, Iowa then. But that's kind of uh, where we're at right now with the uh, relocate, rebuild of Grandpa's Farm map here on FS22 here on Hickory Valley blank map by Poor Boy Modding. As you install Hickory Valley, it actually comes with two map versions. So I changed my mind on steak. That's going to be tonight. I'm getting pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tow boat sounds good. But if you enjoyed this and me kind of going on about uh, how things are in real life and where I'm from in Iowa, uh, please make sure you drop me a tasty one on that like button, and we will occasionally come back here and live stream this more and build on and stuff like that. So, and get some fields placed in and things like that. So. Uh, if you haven't yet, please drop me a tasty one on that like button, which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people as delicious, don't it? Don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section, and please, please share a box of donuts with all our friends and family by sharing the videos and the live streams from the channel. But from myself, Rusty Money, we'll see you all on the flip side, everybody. Thanks again, Tobo, Ryan, Grady, Hooting, Hoonigan, Farmer, Yost, Modding, um, uh, Farmer Trio, uh, I gotta go back through check, Eric the Crazy Viking, Rabid Rob, Ray, Rank, um, King Catch Me, Farmer Trio, who else do we got here? Aaron Anderson, Charles. Thank you. Farm Sim Snowy, Jacob Young, Bruce Salter. Um, who else? John Brock. I think Bruce was here. David. Brian Burwell, Farming Sins. Uh, Gaming Joy. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it very much. We will see you all later. Have a good one.